Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. In this video, I will show you how you convert your furniture store in Shopify to an app through App Maker. So let's get started. This is a basic furniture store. Let me show you how you can convert this to an app. For that, we need to add the App Maker app to our Shopify dashboard. You can find the link for the app in the description. It will redirect you to this page. Here, click on Add App. And now on this page, scroll down and click on Add Sales Channel. As you can see, App Maker has been opened, and here you can make your app. First, I will add the page title as Home. Below that, you can choose the background color for your app. So to add banners, on your left hand side, you can see the blocks option. So the first block will be banner. I will grab this banner and drop it here. Now you can see a block has appeared. To upload banner image, click on upload and upload your banner image here. Now you can see the banner image has been added. If you click on these products, on the right hand side, you can see App Maker. Here you have many actions which you can play around with. I will add open all product. Below that you can add image title. Let's add a grid below the banner. Grab that and drop it here. As you can see grid has appeared. You can add an extra grid here by clicking on the add icon. I will add some images to these grids. I added some more images here, and on the right hand side, you add columns. If I increase the column to your grid, it will be like this. If I decrease that, you can see how it looks. Now let's add a slider here. Grab this and add it here. And if you click on this add icon, you can add an extra slider here. And you can now add images here for the slider. I will add some of the images. Now you can see I added two to three sliders in here. You can also add action in here according to the slider. So I went ahead and added some more blocks in here. Now click Save Page to save this page, which we created. Next, I will create an in-app page. To create an in-app page, click on this new page, and you can add a new in-app page here. First, let's add a page title here. I will add collection as the title. Now I can add a banner in here. Below that we add a slider like we did before. We can add action to these images. Now let's add product by collection. Grab that and drop it here. Click on the drop down and select your product collection. As you can see, all the products from my collection are here. I have made a few more additions to my page. Click on Save Pages. Now on the left-hand side of the dashboard, you can see the app menu. If you click on the app menu, you can see all these menu items here. I will show how you can add this menu item. First, I will delete this and add a new menu. By clicking the Add Menu Item button, on the right-hand side, you can see two menu options, Menu Title and Menu Type. So I will add Home as a title. And on the menu type, you can select title or menu item. The title will be non-actionable type and menu items will be actionable. So if you click on the menu item, you can choose an action from the drop-down. I will add home. 
Below that you can see the menu icon. Click on Open Library. Let's add an icon for the home menu. After selecting the icon, click on Add. Now you can see your home menu has been added. Like this, you can add a non-actionable title here also. Let's add one as a category. And let the menu type be title. If you grab this menu item, you can drag this to the top or bottom. And also you can make this to a subcategory. I added some more menu items here. And now let's click on Save. Now let's go to the Update App section. Click on the Update App. First, it will ask you for the app icon. Click on the Upload icon and select the app icon. On the right side, you get a preview of your app icon on both Android and iOS mobiles. Click on Next. Here it will ask you to upload the launch screen icon. Upload the launch screen icon. You can also change the background color, and then click on Next. Here you can customize your app style. After customizing, click on Next. On this page, you can add the drawer header logo, push notification logo, login logo, and so on. Let's add the logo here. After adding the logos, click on Next. Here you can add all these settings to your app by enabling it. Now let's go to the language settings. In here you can add or delete your languages. In the search bar, you can search for your preferred languages. If you want to remove your language, click on the Delete This Language button on the top right corner. If you go to the subscription option, you can find the subscription details here. AppMaker has a 14-day free trial. After that, you can choose any of these plans to continue further. Now let's click on Save Changes, and then click on the Build App. Once you click on the Build App, the page gets refreshed and the app will begin building. It will take around five men to get ready. Till then, let's talk about the push notification feature. The push notification is an important feature that helps in customer engagement and retention. All app maker plans consist of push notification features, and with a five-step configuration, you can send push notifications to your customers to generate compelling results. Now your app is ready. Click on the preview to download the app file for the Android version. I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. This will be my homepage as you can see all images are in the right place. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Let's click on this icon here to see my products. As you can see, all products are here. Now click the product and let's see what option pops up. You can see Add to Cart button and Buy button here. You can choose the number of products needed. Just click Add or Minus. We have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. Also, you have the option to add coupons. And that is how you make your Shopify furniture store into an app through AppMaker. To know more, check out our website, www.appmaker.xyz.